let's take, for example, drums. I'm going to take a 8 to 8 because I'm going to do a, a bit more of um, a hip hop -y kind of sound. Okay, so I'm going to drag it into MIDI track number one. That's my 8 to 8 drum kit. I'm going to make my tempo 90 because that's the better tempo for it. hip hop. Then I'm going to select one measure or bar. Look at the instructions. Huh? Click and drag to select one bar or measure. If you know music theory, you know this is a bar. If not, I can just tell you this is a one, two, three, four. Okay. Right now, I know that I am zoomed in. One is to four. Each of these squares is one quarter of a bar. I can also change this to one eighth, which means each of these squares is divisions is one eighth of a bar. I'm going to make it one quarter to make it easy for me to see. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. I want to just choose one of them. So I'm going to click and drag. My mouse is now clicking and dragging. That's why you want to use a mouse. It's really messy to do this with the trackpad. I've selected this and I'm going to right click it. And you can see that I've got this thing called insert empty MIDI clip. Insert empty MIDI clip. And now I have an empty clip there which I can start to drop notes in. This is one bar long. Again, remember that's one, two, three, four. So here I am, I am in this thing, in this MIDI clip. And I'm going to look at the different drum sounds. So I'm going to use a pattern which is suggested on the block, one of these. The first pattern I gave is a hip hop. If I want to see it more clearly, I tap on the picture and it fills my screen. Hooray. Now, before that, I want to make sure that I've got the right grid size because the grid has to be 1 16th. Let's go back to Ableton and say, okay, 1 16th. If it's any other number than 1 16th, I just right click and I make sure that it is, yeah, 1 16th. Huh? Right click on this number in the corner. So this is my grid. The reason why grids are important is that it tells me that this is 16th, right? So you know your, your mathematics, right? Four 16th make a quarter. So you have one, two, three, four. That's your beats. I'm going to drop in a bass drum now or a kick drum. I've got these headphones on so that I can hear the sound as I drop it in. And let's see, let's go back to the diagram. What did it look like? Okay. Here, and then I do one, two, three, snare drum. Snare drum is on the 1.2 and just before the 1.3 and also the 1.4. Okay, so 1.2, just before the 1.3 and the 1.4. What about the kick drum? It's at the 1.3, just before the 1.4. 1.3, just before the 1.4. And then I've got this thing, close hi-hat. Close hi-hat is every alternate. So every alternate, one, two, three. I'm double clicking, right, to put it in. Oh, I, ah, I can move it. Oh, I've discovered I can move it. Right? If I click in the wrong place, I can always move it along. Yeah. So this is a very simple bit. If I start from the beginning by pressing the square stop button twice, Actually, can you all hear that it's playing? Please tell me with a thumbs up. Can you hear that? Please give me a thumbs up if you can hear it so that I know that I'm not. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so with this, I can actually... Once you have created this MIDI clip, you can actually stretch it out. You can make copies and add variations. Right? So if I stretch it out, now I can actually stretch it out, right? It's actually looping around.
And if I want to make a variation, I can take maybe my second one and I can split it, right? Right click split, right click split. I'm going to color it a different color, right click, color it a different color, green, so that you can tell what. Okay, so if I'm on the first one, you can see that it's pink. If I'm on the second one, you can see it's green. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to draw in extra. snare drums. So I got a variation now. Let's start from the beginning. So I can actually right click and copy this and I can paste it over at position four. Then I've got a whole variety. For those of you who heard my cat just now, my cat will make an appearance later if she's so vicious. In the meantime, please try out for yourself making your own beat. If you don't want to make a hip hop beat, you can make a more like housey beat. You would drag in a 909 instead. And you would set your tempo to 128 or 130. Again, you would right click, click and drag, uh, select one whole bar insert the empty MIDI clip. And then this time you would, because it's a dance EDM house beat, you would want to do something which is more, what am I doing? You probably want something which is more like this. Right? You'd have a beat which is more like this. 